Hey guys, thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys like the content. Um, given recent Bitcoin price movements, I just wanted to kind of give you an update of where we are on these logarithmic regression curves because I've just gotten a lot of requests um, to know. Um, so currently we've fallen below this yellow line. Um, I'd like to kind of show you what happened last time. So in the last cycle, we fell down to this bottom line and we stayed between these two lines for many, many months, um, even maybe over a year. Um, and you can see that when we came up to the yellow line, we actually held it as, as resistance several times before we broke it. And then once we broke it, we went straight to the purple regression line. Here, we broke it on the first try and went straight to the purple regression line. Um, and note that now we've fallen below it. But in this cycle, we went to the purple and then came down to this yellow line on, this, on these logarithmic regression curves before going back up. Here, we came up to the purple, fell down to the yellow, and then kept going down. Now, I think part of the issue here is that we didn't really spend um, a whole lot of time in this region. We didn't spend a lot of time building support on this curve. Instead, we came down to it and essentially, you know, pretty quickly bounced off up above this second regression line up to the previous resistance in the last cycle before we had that final mania phase. Um, I think it's, you know, it's, it's definitely possible that we fall back down to this regression line here, which would correspond um, to around five to $6,000, depending on exactly when it happens. Um, note that the 200 week moving average is currently at around $5,000. So if we were to fall back down to that, um, then you know I think I think it's possible that we fall back down to the 200-week moving average, and if we do, it would mean that um, I might need to modify these regression lines. Um, and I said before, you know, these aren't meant to be predictive; they're just to kind of show you what has happened in the past. Um, maybe the the curves need to um, fall off a little bit here so that they're not going up quite as quickly. I don't know. I mean, it's possible that these are are a good a good way to predict it. I mean, if if it is, then this lower regression line in 2025 would be around um, $75,000. I mean, you know, I, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that we could have a $75,000 Bitcoin in 2025. I'd like to know what you guys think about that. Um, but just note that here we had this support on this line for a long time, and here we didn't. It was it we broke through this one right away. And now we're falling back down. So, I mean, you know, for me, I, I'm not going to offer any financial advice, but for me, I'm definitely going to be looking um, to buy between five or six K because I don't, I mean, I think it's a, it would be a healthy time to get in. It's around the 2000 or 200 week moving average. It's also around this lower regression line on these, um, on this plot. And I think even though it's theoretically possible, it could go lower. I think in the grand scheme of the next few years, buying Bitcoin at you know five, even between five to seven thousand dollars, is is a really good um, time to be getting in. Um, and remember, you know, we we often lose sight of how things can change so quickly. You know, when we were down here, a lot of people just thought we were going down to eleven hundred, and then and then we subsequently saw you know a, like a four x increase or something. So keep that in mind. The market sentiment can change on a dime. Um, you know, I, I think that's important to, to remind yourself of. And the best advice that I could tell you is just if you're if you're looking to continue to get in, just dollar cost average your way in. And, you know, it, it'll I think it'll it'll help you guys out a lot. Um, so remember to subscribe to the channel, like the content if you if you guys do find this stuff interesting. Um, I, I will try to maybe make a website at some point and, and put this up so you guys can access it. Um, without me, you know, having to, to post updated versions of it. Um, but, you know, we'll see about that. We'll see if I can get it, how quickly I can do that for everyone. Um, so remember, if we were to fall back down to this regression line here, it'll it'll likely correspond to somewhere between, say, five to $6,000. Um, and the 200-week moving average is $5,000. So... I think that'd be a great time to buy in. Um, not financial advice. That's just my personal opinion on the matter. Um, uh, but until next time, guys, that's, that's it. All right, guys, bye.